Alright guys, this is just going to be a quick video about how I heat my still and my heating controller. Um, I built this before... Um, I built this before uh, I started the channel, so I don't have a lot of video on it. Um, and I wanted to give a shout out to my brother Travis. He, he's really the one that was my assistant here and helped me build this thing. Um, what I have is just a PID, and this is an ink bird. I don't remember the numbers, but if uh, Barley and Hops, uh, George there has a great tutorial on how to build this. I followed that almost to the T, but uh, I did make some variations here. I got a PID, I have an amp and voltmeter, um, a switch for a fan internally, and then two 220 plugs that run two 3500 watt elements and I'll get you a close up here in a minute. This thing works pretty good. I do want to try out an SSR or SCR um, and that seems just because my first run here whenever the heat kicks on I get a steady stream and then it's drip 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 and then the heat will kick back on and I'll get a steady stream and I I don't know if that affects the flavor, but I'd like to put, I'd like to try it out and maybe do a side-by-side -side com comparison of what they're like. But for now, this works great, and until um, I get some money saved up to buy the parts for a new controller, this thing works awesome. Alright, so this is what it looks like close up, and this is just an old stereo box. Um, I sanded it down, and I repainted it, and finished it. Um, and like I said, I got a volt and amp meter, uh, my PID, and a switch, and two, 20, two 220 volt plugs. And then on the side here, I have a switch, and that switch basically runs this bottom plug. That's all it does, it turns it on and off. And the reason why it's like that is when I had the the still heating up or I'm doing a stripping run, this is on. Once I get to the temp temperature that, it, that I want to hit, I just flip it off and then let the PID in this plug with one of my elements uh, run. And it seems to work great that way. I have no complaints with it other than, you know, there's not as much control. Um, this whole thing is on a 50 amp 220 breaker on the other side of my garage here and that's really how I turn it on on and off as I flip the breaker for now as as uh, as I get better at this I'm gonna put a switch in it and like you can see I'm running kind of still my still is kind of under construction right now and while I'm waiting for my mash to ferment I figured I would upgrade my water and kind of get things a little more presentable. So, so yeah guys, just a quick video about my heating controller for everybody that wondered how I uh, heat my still, this is it. So, um, big shout out to my brother Travis, big shout out to uh, Andre Collins for sponsoring this video. I did get my first sponsor, which is an amazing, amazing feeling. Uh, big shout out to him, big shout out to my brother Travis for helping me build this controller. I mean, months and months ago. This has been in the works for a long time. I've always wanted to get into this hobby, but just the work alone to do it is, it's substantial. I mean, you can buy all the parts yourself and spend a lot of money. I didn't have that kind of money to spend, and I'm more of a hands-on learner, so I wanted to build everything myself. Uh, the controller, built myself. Still, built myself. My column, I built myself, I'm running all my own water lines, I've done all my own electrical, everything uh, from ground up here. So, as always guys, if you liked what you saw today, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about this kind of stuff. Uh, have an awesome week.